Good day. My name is Marissa Gowrie, and I'm the Deputy Environmental Manager and National Ozone Officer for Trinidad and Tobago. Every year on September the 16th, the world comes together to celebrate World Ozone Day, a day where we recognize the tremendous efforts that countries around the world, including Trinidad and Tobago, have undertaken to protect the ozone layer. This is done through something called the Montreal Protocol, which is an international environmental agreement. The ozone layer is a thin shield that surrounds the globe and it filters UV rays that come from the sun. Unfiltered UV rays can cause things like skin cancer, increase eye cataracts, weaken our immune systems and reduce agricultural yield. Back in the 1980s, scientists discovered that certain chemicals were causing harm to the ozone layer and creating what we know as a hole in the ozone layer. Under the Montreal Protocol, which Trinidad and Tobago has been signed on to, countries have been doing many activities to phase out these damaging ozone gases. One sector where these gases are found is in the refrigeration and air conditioning sector. Why is it important to do stuff to save the ozone layer? Well, because we spend a lot of time outdoors, just like going about our daily lives and some of our activities that we enjoy, like going to the beach, playing cricket, or any other outdoor activities. So we are very exposed to UV rays. Some of the things that you can do to save the ozone layer is ensure that whatever equipment you buy uses chemicals that are not damaging to the ozone layer. So in particular, in your refrigeration and air conditioning equipment that you have in your home or your business, ensure that whatever chemical it uses is ozone friendly. And also ensure that any technician you engage to service these equipment practice good refrigeration practices. So today, on September the 16th, I'd like to wish you all a happy World Ozone Day and let us continue to do our part to save the ozone layer.